Topic for my topic for today is to talk a bit about politics. I never really talk about politics. Uh, the last politics I delved in was at college, and at that time we were shambocked, we were tear gassed, and we were imprisoned. And yeah, there was lots of atrocities uh, that we experienced at the time. Some of our friends died. Some of them were thrown from 20th floor, John Foster Square. Many friends just disappeared. We don't know how, but they disappeared. But uh, that was 76. And again, 77, 78, 79, when every year the uprisings were there, us fighting against the government and if I think back, there was actually never a time when people were satisfied with the government of the day. The only time that happened was when Mandela became president. And what a ruler. If I can think back, he's one of the few who offered to reduce his salary. He said the salary was too much for him. He will donate a third to the Children's Foundation and he would donate a third to the Job Creation Fund. Before and after, there was never a president like that. I can think of one other president in Uruguay, humble president who fought for his people just like Mandela did. He cared more for his people than for himself and his family. The president of, of Uruguay didn't have his own, or oh, he had his own car. The only car he had was a VW Beetle 1978 model. I mean, can we compare that to any other president in the world? Is there any other president that would, that would do that? To them it would be demeaning. For him, he was proudly driving his VW 1978 model Beetle. He didn't have his own property. He lived with his wife in his wife's house. And he was a president for the people. By the people, for the people, and he tried to do his best for the betterment of his country and his people. If I think of any other sports team, before that, that ever could have done that, uh, was it in the 90s, 94, when it was the Bafana team, when the team was fully mixed, and we had Clive Barker as coach, we had Neil Toby as captain, Mark Williams, and um, we had um, Dr. Kumalo on them, and we had um, the guy who went to play for Leeds, that was a team that gave South Africa some form of hope. Before that, there was never any such a team. That is the first team that was totally mixed and played for the country, played their hearts out for the country. Like the 95 box, which Mandela so rightly supported, like the current box that we have now. If ever there could be a government that the people would have faith in and a belief in, if by some miracle they could have voted in the whole Springbok squad as the government, I'm sure right now, as it is, they have not even majority, they have, I would say, 99% support of the country. Why? They, they are prepared to lay down their lives, they are prepared to undergo any kind of injury, they are prepared to they put their bodies on the line for the sake of the country. They are fighting there for the country. And that's the kind of people we need to lead any team or any government. I would happily vote for them if they could be in power. 
if ever we had a great um, leader in the coach, Rasi, to my mind, there was never ever a coach of his stature, ever, and I wonder if you'll get one in the future. He, he, his contribution is immeasurable. He's a mastermind. And for me, that's the kind of person we need as president. I would gladly have accepted Rassi and Jacques as co-presidents and the, 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 the panel of, of Springboks below them as ministers. If perhaps they are inadequate in certain areas, they could have, they could have advisors. But these people, as they would lay their lives down for their country and do the best for their country, I believe they'll do the same for the country. They, will, they want the progress of the country and they'll lay down their lives for their country. This is the kind of people we need in the government. Humble people. People prepared to lay down their lives for their fellow men. Prepared to lay down their lives for their country. Prepared to fight for their country. As far as I'm concerned, if Springboks were the government, I am sure that this would ever be, this would be the best government we've ever had. Back in the past, I thought there were some people that could be good leaders. When I think back, there was Alan Busak. I think there was people like uh, Frederick von Reel Slabert. There was F.W. de Klerk, good leaders. Helen Ziller, good leaders. Um, and of course, Mandela. Mandela was outstanding. These are, well, are good leaders, but what we have now in the Springboks, especially the leadership, simply amazing. I take my hats off to them and I would gladly serve under them if they were the government. I'm sure many people would too. Many people have said so in the media. I mean, the country has been so divided for a number of years and suddenly the Springboks again is such a united, an uniting force that everybody, they united the whole country. There was no talk of race, whatever, whatever. People just followed the Springboks blindly and they had their full support. It is just amazing to see people of all colors supporting the country, the Springboks, because the team was picked on merit. And they were picked because their hearts are in the right places. Really, I take my hat off to them. Totally. They have only the highest praise from me. Anyway, people, what can we say? What can we do? Yeah. Anyway, good luck and have a good day.